Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions, and now they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and don't forget your address, okay? And we'll send you out a free Bible, free shipping, anywhere on earth, just for you. And folks, if you love watching videos about dreams and visions about the end times, this is a channel for you. This is your centralized location for dreams and visions on YouTube right here, End Time Dream and Vision. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Today, folks, we're going to be covering dreams of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this first one here is from Mark. Mark says, I had a dream about a white cloud that was shaped like the number seven. And there was a hill beside the cloud, and I walked up the hill. When I got to the top of the hill, there was a big white cross, and I knew that the sunlight was making the seven appear off the right side of that big white cross. End of the dream. Now, this here is a representation of the finished works of Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, what do you say? It is finished. And what is the number of finish? Seven. Jesus finished his works at the cross so that God would be appeased and forgive our sins forever. All of our sins in the past, all of our sins in the present, and all of our sins in the future. There is no forgiveness of sins unless there is shedding of blood. And Jesus, his work right here, saved all of mankind because his blood was pure. His blood was the Father's blood because our blood comes from the Father. His blood was from his Father. His blood was pure. He came into this world as the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Okay? The Bible tells you right there what he was going to do. You know, when they said that, People are like, take away the sins of the world, great. But they didn't realize how he was going to do it. Okay? He had to shed his blood. He sacrificed himself. And through his works alone are we saved. There is no work that we can do to get saved, to be born again, to have God's indwelling spirit come inside of us. Okay? There is no work that we can do because if it was a work that we can do, then why weren't the Old Testament saints able to do it? Okay? So that just goes to show you. Why did any of the Old Testament saints make it to heaven? The works that they did back then and their lives back then, they were, I would say, much less sinful than our lives are here today because everything that surrounds us now. Okay? God looked at the Old Testament saints back then, what they had access to, and he said to themselves, you know, all those who are going to be alive in 2022, they are going to be absolutely surrounded by sin like you wouldn't believe. So if they couldn't make it, I know that these guys are not going to make it either. So I need to make this a simple gift for everybody to accept. And you know, God loves mankind. God loves man. That's why he gave his only begotten son. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall ever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Amen. So awesome dream here, Mark. This next one here is from Ryan. Ryan goes on to say here, I was at my house and I felt like I was being possessed by something evil. And then I prayed 
and I was unpossessed. And then I saw the clouds open up and I saw Jesus and angels coming past me as I was going up with everyone else. And as we started singing Amazing Grace, we arrived in heaven and we started doing the works we were called to do. And that was the end of the dream. So great dream here, Ryan. So Ryan here was possessed by an evil spirit. Now, the question is, can a believer like you or me, who has an indwelling Holy Spirit, be possessed? No, we can be influenced. They can get around us and influence us, but they certainly cannot get in us. That is why Ephesians 4.30 says our spirit is sealed to the day of redemption. Not only are we sealed so that we won't sin and screw it up, but it's also sealed shut so no other spirit can get in there. That's why our spirit is sealed, Ephesians 4.30, like I said. And then he goes on to say here, I felt like I was possessed, and then I prayed, and I was unpossessed. So if Ryan here is a believer, I don't think you were possessed, Ryan. I think you just had a very heavy demonic presence around you, okay? Or this may represent the time that you were not saved yet, and you prayed, and you came to believe that Jesus finished works at the cross, and you got saved. And at that moment, you were no longer possessed. The wicked spirit got kicked out of you, and the Holy Spirit came in and sealed you, and is now protecting you and guarding you from any further possessions. Then you saw the clouds open up, Jesus and angels came down, basically he saw the rapture resurrection event. And as he was going up, he was singing Amazing Grace. I could see that being the song of the day for that event, Amazing Grace. And they were singing it all the way to heaven, and they arrived in heaven, the rapture resurrection event. And after that, he says that we started doing the works that we were called to do, and then that was when the dream ended. Awesome dream. And speaking of works, folks, we are working right now to expand the body of Christ through Christian missions to feed my sheep today. I'm going to play this video here for you, and I will be right back after this quick break. Hey, everybody, I need your attention really quick. A lot of things are beginning to change, and there is a great end time will of God happening right now, right before the rapture resurrection. And the body of Christ is expanding at an incredible rate due to all the fear and all the hopelessness that is beginning to engulf the earth because of global current events as we head into the spring feast days here in 2022. And with all these people now beginning to look for hope and look for answers, we as the body of Christ need to right now go about our Heavenly Father's will and capitalize on these things taking place right now and that is what we're doing here at feed my sheep today we are a faith-based nonprofit that funds christian missions all over the world and we are doing this through our missionaries who are sharing the gospel of grace first corinthians 15 1 through 4 the hope and love of jesus christ finished works at the cross for our salvation and they're accomplishing this by preaching the word verbally and also by video presentation many people watch these video presentations of the life of jesus christ and him dying on the cross and much more and they immediately come to the faith of believing in the finished works of jesus christ for their salvation this is a very effective tool and after this is all done we provide free Bibles to all those who are new believers that joined the body of Christ. And on top of all that, we are also providing these people with free humanitarian relief aid to help ease their suffering situation. And you will receive the same reward as our missionaries because now you are partnered with them through Feed My Sheep today when you financially support this cause because in 1 Corinthians 3 8 it says now he that planteth and he that watereth are one and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor who is the planter you are when you invest into the works of these missionaries through feed my sheep today when you plant your seed into this work who's a waterer the missionaries and everybody that works underneath them 
because they use this money and liquidate it and turn it into something that's usable to expand the kingdom of God. Nothing sits in a bank and collects interest here, everybody. It is turned into something that's usable for the kingdom. So please help to keep your Feed My Sheep today going strong. Here's how. In the description box below, there's a link to our website. It's feedmysheeptoday.org. Go there, you can give by credit card, PayPal, bank draft, or simply send your gift in the mail. You also see the option there to become a monthly sustainer. If you can't give big right now, over a period of time determined by you. We greatly need monthly sustainers because if we have an idea what's coming in the next month, we are then able to plan ahead and make sure we have enough material aid and Bibles on hand in time to go into these areas so that we can be effective. Because of the supposed pandemic, there are delays in getting this stuff now, so we have to be able to order this stuff in advance. So we are definitely looking for new members to join our monthly sustainer family. And don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today, so that way you don't miss out on any of the things happening with the funding coming into this ministry. So thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all. Thank you so much, everybody, for your much needed ongoing support for Feed My Sheep today. Folks, time is almost up. I know I say this over and over and over again, but the time is coming where we are done here on the earth. Our tasks are complete. The rapture resurrection takes place and we are gone. Our work here is finished on the earth. Test is over, pencils down, okay? What you have completed is what you have completed. And then all your work is evaluated at the beam seat judgment. So how much work do you want to have evaluated there? And if you have work to be evaluated, don't you want that work to be good work? And one of those works that you can do is support Christian missions. You know, if you don't do the Feed My Sheep today, do it somewhere. Get out there and support those who do the work. Okay, some are meant to be waterers and some are meant to be sowers. Okay, we are meant to be the sowers. We sow the seed and then the missionaries water the seed by using that money to buy Bibles, buy humanitarian relief aid, and buy everything else that is needed to complete these Christian missions. So something to think about if our Heavenly Father is pulling at your heart right now, don't ignore that pull. Just go to our Heavenly Father in prayer and see what He wants you to do. And then go forward accordingly. So thank you all so much who have given. May God bless you all. This next dream is from Mark as well. He posted two dreams here about Jesus Christ recently. Mark said, I had a dream once where a king came into my room and he put a sword down on these balls of light that gathered up like the rapture. And then all of a sudden I was taken to a place on earth where I could see the stores of these men and women with evil eyes that looked like they would rip anyone off that was selling gold, silver, and then suddenly all of their gold and silver turned green and became worthless. They were mad and they started to riot and burn the place to the ground. End of the dream. So the king that came into his room, who was this king? I believe it was Jesus Christ, showing him what's to take place after the rapture resurrection. Now, we know that after the rapture, during the tribulation period, gold and silver becomes absolutely worthless. And we read about that in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 19, where it says, And they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So gold and silver right now is worth a lot of money. It's probably gonna be worth way more here in the near future because of the collapse of the US dollar, okay? And gold and silver is becoming a world reserve currency again. Uh, Russia is getting into now, and of course uh, China's been hoarding it. So that's the direction it's heading, but that's all gonna change come 
uh, three and a half years of God's wrath here on the earth. So when will gold and silver lose its value? Midway through the tribulation period. And I believe it's not going to happen like in a day. It, well, it could. But like everything else, everything accelerates like a train and it slows down like a train. Okay. So gold and silver is going to increase in value like a train. It'll start going up, 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 and then it'll start coming down, 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 down. Probably right at three and a half years into the seventy tribulation. Gold and silver will eventually become worthless. And let me tell you something about gold and silver. Gold and silver is God's economy. It's not Satan's economy. It's God's economy. Okay? And Satan does not want to use God's economy here. Satan wants to do completely all his own stuff here. Okay? He wants to be like God, but he wants to do it in his own way. And this is where cryptocurrency comes in. Cryptocurrency is Satan's economy. Okay, and we see that coming. We see the the building of cryptocurrency right now, the digital gold, digital gold, Satan's gold, real gold, which God created. That's his gold. Okay, gold and silver, precious stones. Okay, that's all talked about in the Bible, where that is the rewards for us at the Bema seat. That's God's economy. Those things are the representation of God's economy because God created gold, silver, precious stones. Okay? Everything here on the earth, he created. So everything here that's mined on the earth is his creation. But digital currency, something that you cannot feel or touch unless you're touching one of the you know, mining machines for Bitcoin or something like that, it's something you can't touch. It's make-believe. Okay? But... It's there because computers support all this stuff. I get it. But it's not like physical gold. Okay, they could touch feel and use for so many different incredible purposes, including silver, precious stones. Okay, that's God's creation. So you have the real gold and fake gold, which is digital currency, Bitcoin. Okay. Though Bitcoin is gaining a ton of value, digital currency is gaining a ton of value, I get it, I get it. But that's happening because Satan wants his economy to rule this earth. This is why all of God's economy, any representations of it, is completely flushed out during the tribulation period. This is why it becomes worthless. People throw it in the streets. And they throw it in the streets because they're so mad at it, because they were depending on it. And the fact that it failed them, they just didn't take it and stick it on a shelf somewhere, put it in a box and hit it somewhere. Maybe it'll be worth something later. They came to the conclusion that this will never be worth anything and I'm mad at it. And the fact that it used to be so valuable, but now it's not. In fact, it's not even worth even throwing it in the garbage can. It's not worth putting it somewhere for safekeeping. It's worthy of being just thrown into the streets where people can take it, where I'll never see it again. Okay, that's how worthless this stuff is. They're mad at it, that's why they throw it into the streets. Okay, everybody on earth will do that, including the ultra wealthy elite, world leaders, countries, they'll all do that. It's coming, folks, it's coming. So folks, please comment. Let me know what you guys think about these dreams. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to? Or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them 
before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind. Starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone. These letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. Just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website edvforme.org and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below. Yeah.